Can an Israelite be considered a heathen? Shalom, this is the brother Abad. You're back here once again. Before I get started, like always, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rechah HaKadosh. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the men that I learned the truth from. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> Can an Israelite be considered a heathen? This is a good um, topic to go into for two reasons. Um, on one side, you have these Jakes, all right, these Israelites that come into the truth, that join these camps, these, chur these churches, because uh, that's what the camps are, churches. And they may get kicked out or they may have disagreements with how things are running. Or for whatever reason, um, they part ways with the church that they were a part of. And then, you know, they start talking shit and saying, you're supposed to love your brother. You're not supposed to hate your brother. You're not supposed to treat your brother this way. Um, you know, so I'm going to touch on that. Can you treat, you know, an Israelite as a heathen? And then on the other on the other side, you have these hypocritical Christians that um, say um, when the scriptures are talking about Gentiles and proselytes and, and strangers and foreigners, converts and heathens, it's, 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 it's only talking about the actual physical um, nations outside of the nation of Israel. Israelites cannot pertain to those terms. <clears throat> but it, but this just this alone proves that they're wrong and they're hypocritical because in another breath, the, uh, a lot of Christians will say, the Lord is not dealing with the Jews anymore. The Lord is not dealing with Israel anymore because they forsook him and now they're cast off as heathen. And now he allows all nations to be a part of the covenant. So in one breath, they'll say some shit like that. And then in the next breath, they'll say, well, no, Israel can't be a Gentile. Israel can't be a heathen. Right? It shows you they'll say anything just to come against, come against the truth. <clears throat> but let's deal with um, the Christians first, right? Because they'll go to something like this scripture here in Galatians chapter 3. Let's go to Galatians chapter 3. <clears throat> this is Galatians chapter 3, um, verse 6, right? It says, even as Abraham believed the Most High, and it was accounted, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that the Most High would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, saying, And these shall all nations be blessed. So they'll read the scripture and say, See, there's a spiritual seed of Abraham that that's that's uh that's gonna be in, that has an inheritance of the promises. All right, the Lord said he would justify the heathen through faith because he said through Abraham, he's going to bless all nations. <clears throat> you lack understanding of the scriptures if you're saying that, right? So you have to you have to keep reading the, this, this chapter, right? Because it is talking about a spiritual seed of Abraham, but it's still talking about the physical lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? So let's continue. Verse 9, it says, So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of for as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. And that's why the Israelites fell under the curses. That's why you have the curses stated in the book of Deuteronomy. They were given the law to follow. They weren't able to keep the laws perfectly, so they suffered the curses of, of disobeying that covenant which shows you it's talking about the Israelites because only they, only they were given that covenant at Mount Sinai. Only they was given those laws to be able to break them, to be able to go under the curse, to suffer the curse, right? <clears throat> Verse 11, it says, But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High. It is evident, for the just shall live by faith. Right. So even though they're physical Israelites, pursuant to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they have to live by faith because the law is not going to save them. And the, and the Lord put the spirit on Paul and the rest of the apostles to have this understanding because you had um, a sect of Pharisees and uh, Israelites who are, who are harping on the law, 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 all right, that lineage from the Levitical priesthood harping on the law, 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 law. But the law wasn't able to save us. The law didn't keep us from going into countless captivities. Us trying to keep the law perfectly, we kept breaking it, breaking it, breaking it. And to the point we needed a savior to believe upon, which required faith. And that savior is who? Yahweh Shehamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, right? 
So verse 13, it says, Hamashiach have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, curses everyone that hangeth on a tree. Now, this verse just this verse just told us that Hamash, Hamashiach have redeemed us from the curse of the law. How can you be redeemed, all right, bought back, all right? How can you redeem, how can you be redeemed from something if you were never under it? The book of Deuteronomy states the curses that the Israelites were under. The, the, the scripture tells us that the Hamashiach redeemed them from the curse of the law, right? For it is written, curses everyone that hangeth on the tree. And we know that the Israelites were cursed because you clearly saw us hanging on trees all throughout America. All right? By the thousands. Okay? Let's finish off in uh, verse 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Yahweh HaMashiach, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So they'll say, "Oh, see, the Gentiles can get the Gentiles can can enter into it, not understanding that just because it says Gentiles or just because it says heathen or stranger, it doesn't mean that it's talking about a Moabite, a Japhite, an Edomite, a Ishmaelite, a Canaanite. It's not talking about an actual." nation outside of the nation of Israel is talking about an Israelite that forsook the ways of his power <clears throat> and started following other gods, other ideologies, other philosophies, and was looked at as a Gentile, was looked at as a heathen, was looked at as a stranger, was looked at, looked at, all right, as someone outside of the, 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 the elect seed, the spiritual seed, all right, of the nation of Israel. Now, let's further prove that, that an Israelite can be a heathen by going to <clears throat> Matthew, the book of Matthew, the 18th chapter, right? And this is going to also answer the question for these guys that leave camps or break off and start saying, well, you, you can't treat your brother wrong. You can't. Why y'all keep teaching about the two thirds and say y'all hate the two thirds and treating the two thirds like they're not as a nation of Israel? Well, look, this is what the scriptures tell us to do. This is Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. It says, moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained the, thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word should be established. All right. So you had a fault. You had a fault. All right. Or you, 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 your brother did something that you didn't dis disagree with. Disagree. Your brother did something that you uh, disagreed with, and you felt wrong by it, so you addressed him. <clears throat> but when you brought it to him, he didn't want to hear it. He bucked up. All right. Well, now you got to bring another brother, so you can have two or three witnesses, or another brother. You can bring two more brothers, or just another brother, <clears throat> to to hit a hit um the the um disputation to hear what's going on. All right, as a, as a body, all right. But if he don't, if he don't want to hear them, um, let's continue. Verse seventeen. Uh, but if he will not hear hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it to tell it unto the church. So let let it be known amongst the body that, you know, right now this brother is not in good standing. He's he's doing this. He's doing that. He didn't want to listen. All right, and then if 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 the if the rest of the body hears about it, and um, they know about it, then this is what it says. But if he neglect to hear the church, so he don't want to hear what the rest of the brothers got to say. He don't want to listen to no brothers. He 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 got it in his mind. He's right. Fuck the body. All right, it's all about him. Well, that's what the scriptures say. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man, and a publican. All right, so you can treat an Israelite as a heathen. You can treat <coughs> a, he a Hebrew Israelite as a um, Gentile or a stranger. All right, these niggas in the world, these this sexy, these sexy reds. Uh, what's the, what's the bitch name? Gelato, mulatto, whatever the fucking name is, gelato. Right, that's what I'm gonna call a gelato. All right, uh, fucking uh, Glorilla, the gorilla girl. All right, G the gorilla glue hair girl. Oh, uh, fucking all these niggas. All right. All these babies, these rappers with the baby, with baby in their name. All right. All these niggas. All right. You can treat them as heathens. Okay. <clears throat> 
And when you go into that word publican, it basically it basically was another word to describe a tax collector working for Rome, which the tax collectors, uh, the Jews, right, the Israelites that were living in Judea during that time, they hated the tax collectors. They didn't fuck with them because they were being oppressed. They were being robbed. All right. So you tr so you can treat your brother like how they like like the hatred they had for those uh tax collectors, because <clears throat> he's no longer considered an Israelite. He's no longer considered of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's still the physical lineage, but he's not a part of what the Lord requires now, which is the spiritual lineage. But don't get it twisted for you dumbass Christians out there. To be a part of the spiritual lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you have to be a part of the physical lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob first. All right, You first have to, be, have, to have been given the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? That's why the scripture says this. And what? Psalms, Psalms 147, right? We got Psalms 147, and it reads in verse um, uh, 19, it says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So the statutes, the laws, the judgments, they were given unto the nation of Israel. All right? So they needed a redeemer. Uh, let's get that in. Let's get that. Let's, let's further prove that because the scriptures told us that he redeemed them that was under the curse of the law. <clears throat> let's, let's go over to the book of Acts chapter 5, all the way down to verse uh, uh, 30. It says, The Most High Yahweh of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel, nation specific, it told you the nation who was for. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't say the nation of Gentiles, all right. The nation of proselytes, the nation of Edomites. <laughs> it said to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So whether that Israelite is a proselyte, which is a a proselyte is just a convert, another way of saying someone that converts, all right, being brought back to their faith, their heritage. Whether it was an Israelite that was considered a, a Gentile, serving other gods, all right, delving into other customs. Whether it was an Israelite that was looked at as a stranger, a foreigner, or a publican, or a heathen. The Lord came to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So if that person repents, they have an opportunity to be redeemed back, brought back. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> but for you niggas out there, all right, and further tying into... Um, the point that um, Israelites can be considered and treated as like a Gentile, as a heathen. Let's go to, um, which, which the Christians, they use these scriptures, but they lack understanding. Because they, they don't, they, they're not nation specific. Specific, all right? Because they'll jump down to the verse I'm about to go to, but they don't read the beginning. Uh, which, matter of fact, I can read... Uh, Verse three, right? It says Romans chapter nine, verse. I'm a, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse from verse three. Romans chapter nine, verse three. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. That's what kinsmen and brethren are, all right, of the same lineage. Verse four, Paul specifies it. Who are Israelites? Who are Moabites? Who are Israelites? Who are Ishmaelites? Who are Israelites? Who are Japhites? Who are Israelites? Paul specified, specified who he's talking about, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, all right? If they were already sons, why do they need the, to be adopted back? Because they were considered heathens, they were considered Gentiles, they were considered strangers, foreigners, all right, publicans. Who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the, adopt, the adoption, all right, the redemption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of Yahweh and the promises. Whose are fathers? Whose are the fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. So Hamashiach came for the Israelites to be adopted back. All right? Now let's drop down to what these Christians like to use. Not as though the word of Yahweh have taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Why? Because you have some that are cast off 
and are liking as heathens, man. It's not talking about, oh, the ones that ain't Israel are the other nations. No, nigga, you added that to the scriptures. And you already know the judgment of adding to the scriptures. Right? Verse 9, chapter 6. Not as though the word of Yahweh have taken an effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Right? And who and, and who and what son got the promise? Jacob. So you still have to be from the lineage of Jacob. <clears throat> but you have to be, you have to come in this spirit of faith now. You have to believe upon Hamashiach, the Messiah. You can't just rely upon the law. That's what the whole uh that's what they that's what Paul was trying to get across to the to the church of Galatia, to the Galatians. Right? You can't save yourself by the law no more. You have to be redeemed by Hamashiach. You have to believe upon Hamashiach to be saved and it takes faith so you have to be the children of the faith now right um, <clears throat> i mean i could wrap this up here i don't have to go any further on that i just want to touch on that real quick yeah so we can treat israelites as as heathens if they don't want to repent and turn back we treat them as heathens and publicans man and i look at you niggas as just black anyways that's who y'all are black americans to me all right that's what y'all want to be that's what y'all black americans so, uh, yeah, to the next time I say Shalom, man.